Well, first find of today. We got that YSO. Not sure if it's authentic. Probably not, but still a nice shirt with the YSO spell out. I wonder if there's any inside tags. Yeah, I don't think that's the correct tag. It's still pretty sick. This is a pretty cool Tom Brady shirt. And then I saw this little white tag Nike tank top, 2XL, little swoosh. Good for summertime. Usually don't cop stuff like this, but again, this thrift store has a $10 minimum on a card. I think this is pretty sick. It has like the pearl snap style buttons, like the shiny buttons with like the rodeo all throughout. It's like, I feel like it's perfect for summertime, you know, it's short sleeve, has that vibes. This is a unique color of this vintage Tommy Hilfiger little polo, a little striped. I think I might get this. Like I said, I have to get up to $10, so it really depends. If I'm not up to $10, maybe I'll grab this, because usually I don't buy this, but maybe you guys would like this for the summertime, you know, summertime polo. Got two more Tommy Hilfiger. I don't think I'm going to cop this one, though. It is unique. It has the little plaid with the denim, little crest right there. I might grab this, though, the old school Tommy jeans, little uh, red flannel. Has a little Tommy jeans hit right there. Tommy jeans. And like I said, it really depends if, uh, if I don't reach the $10 minimum, but this is a nice red Tommy flannel. Really can't go wrong. Oh, it does have uh, patches on the elbow, too. Super nice. All right, let's see. Walking up to the first racks. Anything good today? Vintage Nike, just do it in Miami, made in USA. It's nice. What's this? Who Dat Nation? It's pretty cool. Maybe if it's a dollar, I'll grab that. What do we have here? 2006, Kenneth Cole. Anvil 2012 Cheerleader Alright, looks like that's that from that rack Anything on this rack Miami Heat Finals Damn, somebody dropped off all their vintage Tommy little flag Might grab this for the Percy's you guys know how I love yellow little Tommy box logo just for when like the dress time when I need it as I was walking to the bags I found this is pretty sick like vintage Snoopy Maybe I'll grab it for like customs or something Depends how much it is Another cool piece of fabric. This is actually I looked it up on eBay 1999 This go for like 40 to 60 bucks, but I'm just gonna use it for like uh, customs I saw something on the other side over here, too What is this? Donald Duck. DuckTales. The bed sheet from 1986. That's crazy. 1986 DuckTales. Kennedy Space Center, NASA. I need my space. You guys know I love these uh, Del Sol shirts. They're the changing, the color changing ones. This is size 2XL, Cayman Islands. I've never found such a big one. Usually they're like a large and I have to stretch it out to an XL. This is probably definitely gonna stay in the personal though. This is a pretty cool Adidas skateboarding like tie-dye shirt. But if you look, they want $7 for this shirt. $7, that's insane. Pretty sure this is a bootleg women's Burberry Brit shirt. That was like the Nova going around. Reprint Spider-Man. This is a pretty cool like salmon colored New Balance jacket. Has a little New Balance spell out. And what's this, a uh, fake Kuji sweater. All right, seems like I'm done with Goodwill. Time to check out. Definitely got a good amount of things. It's all between the bed sheets and all the t-shirts. Nice little come up. You guys saw me get these blue ones the other day. This one is where I got the pink ones. I'm pretty sure they don't have any sandals left, but I'm gonna check maybe uh, Maybe they have something. No, they don't. Such a shame. They only have a size 6 left. All other ones sold out, sadly. Well, it's been a little while that I haven't been to Marshalls and TJ Maxx. This is exactly what we're doing. I'm pulling up to Marshalls right now. See what goods is sitting on the shelves. See what sneakers. See what they got. Got some New Balance 574s for 40 bucks. 
polo. Some pennies for 54 bucks, size 10. Laceless uh, boost, 54 bucks. Air Force One boots, 45 bucks. Red pair of uh, Air Force One high tops, 40 bucks. Those white NMDs have been sitting there. Levi's denim jacket, only $30. Has like a nylon top, original price was 98. Zipper front instead of a normal button. Not bad. Well, unfortunately Marshalls is pretty dry. We haven't found anything in the clearance section, no really good shoes. Just came to the regular section. This is kind of the coolest thing I saw so far is like this MTV rayon shirt. I guess like perfect for summertime. But other than that, nothing really good. Maybe I'll head over to TJ Maxx and maybe we can find some better stuff. Still got these little champion side bags. It's like the red blue. This one has like the pink, pink and blue. A little like fanny pack. A bunch of them. Champion backpack. Snapper TJ Maxx. I just came up on when well, I just found these polo little sandals. Only 20 bucks. Not bad. They have red colorway, a navy, and a gray. Obviously, you guys know I love my little two strap sandals. Otherwise, I'd maybe purchase these. As far as Invictus, I've never seen a white box before. It's kind of cool. They have this silver one. They have the black with the gold. Some automatics. That one's kind of cool too. Oh, they also have a couple of Adidas watches. Those are pretty cool. Especially that one that's like digital. I've never seen this before. A Gucci ring at TJ Maxx. And it seems like it's only $150, but it doesn't have any Gucci logo. It seems like it just seems like it's just a silver ring. I could be wrong, but I don't see any markings. USA Polo, little t-shirt. And I also saw this, the patchwork flannel uh, Tommy Hill figure. 25 bucks, retail is 90. Not bad. If you guys actually saw a few times ago, we did find this Alexander Wing, the white t-shirt, and I actually cop this for the personal. I still have it for the personal collection. Just went to clearance though, $40. Retail was 50, so it's only $10 off, but little Alexander Wing white shirt. New H Tommy Hilfiger Polo with the Hilfiger embroidered spell out. Only clearance, $20. Retail was 70. Man, we're not finding anything good. Nothing in TJ Maxx, nothing in Marshalls. Probably just head out of here. Usually find good stuff all the time, but not today. So it's been about two weeks since I got in a haircut. You can kind of see it's definitely growing back out. It doesn't look too bad, but I figured, you know what? Let's just get a clean cut um, for the week or the next weeks or so. So that's exactly what we do. Get a nice cut. Or a different day, same shit, I guess, right? Right. All right, so this time, I like the taper, but what I didn't like is how it kind of cut into the beard. Gotcha. So I wonder if maybe uh, like a half on the side, or maybe just a higher fade, so that way it kind of has that effect, but kind of not into the beard. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, everything, everything's a one. I guess the three on top. Uh, three on top. Yeah. Normal stuff. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. Well, as you guys see, I honestly, this barber is amazing. Like, ever since I found him, you guys have been seeing me get the best cuts, honestly, I've probably had in years to come. Um, so this time, we did not we did kind of the taper, but I didn't really want him to go on the beard. So we went a little bit higher. I did a half on the side and a three on the top, and basically faded into that. Um, prior, what I would do is I would get one on the side and a three on top. So this time, since I wanted a little taper effect, or like, kind of gradient effect I went with a 0.5 so it honestly doesn't look bad at all I am gonna go home and kind of clean up the beard a little bit just to uh, you know I, I didn't want him to touch that but as far as the tape it looks really good I wanted to show you guys what the bed sheets look like so this one is from 1986 we have the ducktails again I'm gonna use this for custom I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but I have a bunch of material that I always use for uh, customs whenever I feel like it and last but not least, for the bed sheets, we do have the Snoopy. Thank goodness for people. And then there's like a bunch of quotes all throughout. Happiness is liking people. Got the Tommy Stripe, that's an XL. 
The New Orleans Houdat Nation is about a size large XL. The vintage Nike is a size large. Kennedy Space Center is about an XL to 2XL. And then this, I'm going to hold on to the personal collection. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Again, check the link down below, emcvlogs.com. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow for another video, 8 p.m. And don't forget, guys, let's get it.